Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center Thursday evening and I have got my eyes on a big storm that is coming in for the weekend that will certainly impact things in the mountains to a very high degree, a little bit different story uh, down in the valleys. Let's start off uh, by looking at this winter storm watch that goes into effect late Friday and continues until late Saturday. Um, for North Idaho, up to 23 inches of snow in the mountains, up to 20 inches of snow in the central panhandle. The ski areas I are jumping for joy, obviously. Now those valley locations, that gets a little trickier because we are bringing some warm air up uh, with this system. So we may get that much snow, but it's gonna be doing some melting too. So you depends on when you measure the snow. <laughs> and, and in the valleys around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, we may only have one to two inches of snow, the higher totals in Coeur d'Alene, um, before it transitions over into non-accumulating snow. Just a terrible weekend to travel over the passes, particularly uh, heading west. As you can see, the snowfall totals in the Cascades are expected to be considerable and it's already bad over Snoqualmie. They have been closing off and on for the past couple of days because of slide offs and trying to get um, snow off that they close it there at that North Bend exit and boy what a headache that is. Um, and then I just put on for fun because I've got a kid in Bellingham now going to college, Mount Baker. 20 to 40 inches of snow. Uh, that is, that would be fun. Uh, well, let's take a look at our forecast radar, starting off at our current uh, time or this evening. And um, this did not initialize all that great. It's really keeping uh, snow in eastern Washington, uh, where most of it is now confined in North Idaho and is tapering off quickly. But this gives you an idea of what to expect. That snow um, gone by tomorrow morning. Uh, intermittent snow in the passes uh, to the west at this point, 8 o'clock Friday morning. Uh, low clouds and fog will be in the forecast. Now, the blue is snow, uh, pink is a mix, green is rain uh, in general. Uh, let's see that this blue will be turning over to green by Saturday morning in many locations. That's why it's going to be tricky to measure how much snow we get. You may get an inch of snow uh, overnight and wake up and it's already gone. Not the case in the mountains or in North Idaho. Those upslope locations with that strong southerly flow are just going to get hammered. Plenty of moisture to work with with this system. And as you can see, a very pronounced cascade rain shadow that Spokane is just on the wet side of it looks like we're going to keep the precipitation going through the day on a windy Saturday um, with mostly rain throughout the daylight hours and then uh, we'll see that tapering off for a mostly dry Sunday keeping the precipitation in the mountains again in the form of snow. Here's that strong cold front plowing through. It is really gonna hit the mountains hard and boy, do we need it. We're off to a slow start to the uh, ski season. Now, Saturday will not be a super day uh, to go skiing. It's gonna be heavy, wet snow and windy, but boy, is that good base making snow. We can then just cover that with champagne powder and really have a party. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the teens and twenties cold and foggy. Tomorrow will be up right about average, mid 30s, some 40s on the map, uh, patchy fog to start the day. And if that fog lingers, then those temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Here is your seven day forecast. And if you're a fan of winter, if you're dreaming of a white Christmas, you may be thinking, well, that's awfully warm and kind of rainy and not that great. Well, notice the trend toward the end of the seven day forecast, 33 on Wednesday, 32 on Thursday. Indications are that is going to crescendo as we get into Christmas week. Um, you know, they should have a sports book for weather, the weather book where you could go um, place bets on weather because I'd put a saw buck on white Christmas right now. I might even double down uh, because I, what do you think, Matt? White Christmas? Yay? Nay? Yeah. Yes. See? I know. I'm going to be optimistic today.
Oh, he's op optimistic. We're wish casting. Um, no, actually, I, I'm, I'm betting. I'm gonna bet. I will always wish cast the white person. He's always wish cast. Yes. Uh, well, I wish that you would join us here again tomorrow. And uh, we'll give you an update on that storm on the way. And in the meantime, uh, have a great day.